A couple weeks back, we got the opportunity to open up the DJI goggles, pair them with our Mavic Pro, and do a brief review. But just last week, we got our hands on the brand new Mavic Air. And the question I've been getting a lot is, even though the Mavic Air does not have OcuSync, can you still use the DJI goggles? And the answer is, yes, you can. As long as your aircraft, your remote, and your goggles all have the latest firmware, you should be good to go. So I want to take just a few seconds to show you how to update your firmware with the DJI Assistant 2 software and to connect to your DJI Mavic Air. This process is assuming that you've already downloaded the DJI Assistant and have it running on your computer. The link to that software can be found in the description below. And this software is available for Windows or for Mac. Now, if you're installing it on a Mac like I was, one thing to keep in mind is that it requires some extra drivers. And those are going to be included in the package, but you're going to want to make sure that you reboot your computer after you install it, or else it will not recognize your goggles when you plug them in. So assuming you've got that software running, first thing you're going to do is plug your USB cable into your computer. And then you're going to take the other end of that micro USB cable, and you're going to plug it into the goggles where you would normally charge them in the battery port. And then you're going to power it on. From there, you'll hear the goggles boot up animation sounds, and then you should see the goggles show up in your DJI Assistant 2 dashboard. Now, once you get into the DJI Assistant 2 software, it's a fairly intuitive process. All you have to do is double click on the DJI goggles, and that will take you into the firmware list for that unit. From here, you can see your current firmware vision, as well as any updates that you have available to you. Selecting release notes, We'll give you a modal pop-up here showing you what's new with this version of the software as well as an ominous warning telling you that you cannot roll back to the previous versions of the firmware. But what's not listed here is the fact that if you don't have this firmware version on your goggles, they won't get video from the Mavic Air. To make sure they work with our new drone, let's go ahead and upgrade. I've sped this next section up a bit to save us some time, but I should say that it did take about five minutes to download, transfer, and update the software. That being said, I am on a one gig wired connection, so your mileage may vary. And during this process, you may hear your goggles turn off and on, and that's perfectly normal. And once you're done, clicking back will take you to the firmware list where you should see that your current version is the latest version of the software. And despite that rollback warning in the release notes, I can confirm that the downgrade button does work, although using it will break your ability to get video with the Mavic Air. And now that you've got the latest firmware version on your goggles, let's connect them to your DJI Mavic Air and make sure they work. Obviously, the first thing we're going to want to do is power up the aircraft and the remote controller and make sure that they're synced. The easiest way to tell that they've been connected is by watching that blinking red light on the front of your controller. Once it goes to solid green, you know that they're synced and you can plug in the USB cable to the bottom. Then you're going to take the other end of that micro USB cable, plug it right into the goggles and power it on. From there, you just wait for the goggles to run through their standard boot up animation. And once they have, you should be able to see the video feed from the aircraft in your goggles. And now you're all set to use your goggles with your brand new Mavic Air. And one final note, FPV flying can be a lot of fun. But please, 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 if you're out there with goggles, make sure you always have a visual observer with you to keep your aircraft and your airspace safe. If you've got any other questions about these goggles or the Mavic Air, hit us up in the comments below or check us out at DroneAcademy.com.